Unfortunately survived. Unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Black, when we ran away from Black, wasn't able to get supplies in. But when government agents are hunting down, some kind of shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If it needs to be, we can eat you. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Go on. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. Yeah, you did. You need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> I gotta go hunting. Yay. Yeah, I do. This is yeah. the mission I'm on. You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, uh, you're joking. Yeah. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never I'm taking too old the to pistol learn. next year. I imagine. Huh? All right. Let's head out. A deer. Uh. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll we don't know that. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. It's, but I still really got, got a deer. Got You'll be fine. I just find it funny how he started laughing when I said I was taking the pistol hunting. Yes, you can. Now the weather's eased off a bit. They'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Nick. 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 Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but this show sure weren't good. Can I say fuck this shit I'm out? I'm gonna pack my shit and I'm out. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Down too. So far, the, no wind at all this bad, what has been one of your favorite games move. to play? No, shit. Besides Stay quiet. Uh, GTA. Besides GTA. A any game. Whoa. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. There's deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. 
I gotta get my bow. Is this my horse? Come on. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Crouch down a bit. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier to know, but... Did you make it? Are you sure? It's a mile away. I want a flying bike. Quick and clean. Hold the tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Take your shot. Ah, unlucky. Jam. Hi, Rave, lay down. You do. The big bobblehead guy. Is there again? What the hell?
Come on. You're making yourself too obvious. He's in the water. He went that way, bitch. Fuck. No, use the bow I gave you. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Yeah, you run the whole way over there and get that damn deer, you son of a bitch. My horse isn't running towards me. What the fuck? There he is. Listen here, ho. Come on, then. Let's head back. be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You 
notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go. Yeah, and so he doesn't you. even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't huh. feeding the old Triscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess oh, because they've concept. been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, because uh, we've been knocked the bike over, over that far for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back, and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Oh, I'm running away from this place. <laughs> Shit, man. You popped my tires. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah. Cut up here, off the trail. That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? We're on horses. We, we, we could have killed him. That much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature. Life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with What's this. What's the car in the Always casino right someone's now? Someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. Careful. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. But for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right.
Watch it! Uh, careful. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster hey, we're than back. Ball. Won't take nobody but him. And this is what I mean by every time you I'm fucking talk and argue over stupid shit. Drop some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Oh, I just took the deer well, off the well, horse while well. it's shitting. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Well, he loves me really. Is like this the only person that fixed. would ever no, notice the uh, fucking horse's balls on the game? Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. It's been a tough few days. It's been a tough few days. It's been a bad few weeks. Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower. 
Just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's I might buy it. I, I, I don't know where we we're buying, but I might buy it. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar who dealer, oil him? man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! We have a train to rob. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisco, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're Easy. gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Nope, I'm not yep. clear. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's run! You're not gonna make shit look like a ninja turtle, sir. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good. Wow, he ruined well, the song. We need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. No, Jaden did. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Oh, I just fell off my horse. Sure you're ready for this, kid. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep black on. and yellow, black and yellow. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this. Then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa there. Oh. 
Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Hey, Bill. Yeah. I've come to help. Bill Nye, the science guy. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. So basically you have ten million dollars. I don't know, GTA stole money off you that time. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others, I got it from here. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay. Cover your faces. Train should be here. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Oh yeah, we got Rob. It was fine. It was my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. 
fire, but we won't mention that. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. Oh. Should we move on? Oh, nope. I uh, got run over by the train. I fell off and uh, got hit by the train. That's some bullshit. I will be right back. I'm back. Wanna be badass? I'm back, wanna be badass? There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Yes, you go.
stop the train. That's how you do it. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. There better be some money Ooh. at the end of this. All these bastards must be guarding something. Y'all need to calm down. I, ha I don't have an attitude. I ain't the one yelling. Arthur, get over here. Let me let me loot the bodies. Come on. Hold on, let me loot the bodies, motherfucker. Yeah, you tell them, Nick. He's like, he's like, we do not have time to play fucking games. What are you doing? Get over here! Like, right, motherfucker, I'm looting shit. He's like, I don't get any shit right now. Why do you say that, sir? I look badass. What? Crap. I want to get more, but it's just, I don't know yes, what to get. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open.
Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. What? All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. See if we can get this open. Wow. Come on. Come on. <sighs> get in there. Ha. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Uh, not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish no, West Indies? Perfect, some. A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Woo, Platinum Watch. No, I'm not done in here. I'm picking up a platinum watch. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Ooh. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Let's ride. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Said quick.
he is uh playing Dance Dance Party Revolution 3-3. Three, three. I don't know. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. So I totally forgot today was Friday. I want some grenade launchers. You want to know something funny? I got pulled over one day, and the cop was like, the cop looked right at me. He's like, do you have any rocket launchers or hand grenades in your car? Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. My will broke. Hell. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. I broke the wheel. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Stop Nearly there. There. See? Well, I'm so used to that. Not quite. This opening contest is the way to find. Not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Well, get in. Not a. Everybody, 
Still in the way from them. The weather is very dry. Still, they live up to the regulations in the middle of nowhere. The man is seemingly large. Now, this isn't anywhere else. It's going to be a challenge against private party, I can tell you that. I just heard some of the army I knew was particularly unpleasant about it. Unpleasant. Ordering. It's the match. Four caliber. What the hell your damn name is? We don't. Swing and a miss there. It's Cabana. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver. Oh, uh, hell. I'm finally catching up on my wrestling. Ah! 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 Almost over. There's a hill there. I almost drove over it. What happened to your truck? I almost took my horse and my crew over a hill. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived about two for a while. You gotta watch the tags the ones that go up. Amazing the tandem maneuvers. Oh shit, there's a tree. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. What's the problem now? Um, I'm stuck in the tree. I'm fucking stuck. It won't back up. It won't do shit. Sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. What are we doing? Let's get there, Arthur. A wilder delinquent you never did see, but he learned fast. Wow, that was fucking Wait, retarded as shit. I don't What's the problem between you two, Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way. That depends. Hey, that sounds like Jaden. Heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests. As that one sounded planned. like Jaden. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Edgerton? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place. Y'all some weirdies. I'll do for now. now. How low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, <laughs> maybe it's me. He's like, I'm offensive. Him. We kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could So, uh, out. maybe it just isn't my Dutch to lose his Nintendo head like 3DS Things should either be sometimes. here Monday or Tuesday. It's the way it is. Always has been. I, uh, me, you, Dutch. 
Uh, with GameStop, usually like weak because they're gay. But that's the only place I can find a 3DS. Uh, 119. Because I wanted to play the Pokemon games that I didn't play, like Sun, Moon, XY, the remakes. No. There's ones now. Yeah. Hello? Trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Whee! I'm driving through the woods. You can't tell me not to say shit. Cause I'm driving through the woods. Here we are, gentlemen. Yeah, Sweet this home. is that camp shit. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. But now, now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Mike had got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a green virgin man to the west. We gotta hear the six-man tank. But we are... Safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, 
We can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. They've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. We I gotta go hunting. A hundred. Um, I don't have no bow right now. What the hell? I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Aren't you cold dressed in just that? Hello? Remember, lift from the knees. Can you? Can you hear us? Are you sure? Good job, Arthur. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there in here. Another day older, and definitely not wiser. 
I'm hoping out my camp by delivering goods across the lands. I'm searching far and wide, trying to become the Pokemon Master Guy. Chop some wood. So we'll, we'll chop like eight pieces. Kids, man. Okay, easy there. Put on some warmer clothes, friend. Don't start what? Yeah. Hey! Oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah.
horse. Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Come here, you silly nag. Come on, horsey. What? Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that? Ask her what her name is. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you have it, your pulse. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud Well, no shit, Jaden. Ask the person who they are. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Ooh, no. Now those sheep. That's uh that fucking uncle? weird as shit. Very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Like I don't get why oh, you fuckers would even mountains. say that. I should come over there sure and beat the be fuck out of there. me now. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. No, Take no plead go. obey Bye, for ladies. you. Let's see what we got here. No there plead obey for right. you. Sure you can no plead you obey for you. Heaven forbid you put it's your too rich for you to blood. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh shit, that's we even worse yet. Right. Jaden decided to pick the homeless part. Will you remember that though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. You guys are going to be living like bums. What's the deal? Goddamn believable. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Hey, you're the one who said you were going to take the homeless section. Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Uh, fucking still. You <laughs> homeless, bro. We'll start at the Please saloon. obey. Okay, just Please stay out obey. of trouble. Don't get the homeless noise. section. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, Listen well, here, orangutan ass. When you're done. Come on, ladies. <laughs> Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used <laughs> to be known Fuck as yeah, dude. That's why I got a whole kid. fucking okay. thing at the zoo. I'm not gonna ask why. I'm famous. Everybody sees me. Are we going to the store then? No, my brother, uh, my brother is up 
Oh, I gotta get you back. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're well, call him and tell him get his bit cheap touch bitch ass on. Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. And tell him to tell him to join the fucking party because he's a dickwad. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Cool. Cold War. Cold War. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? A lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. I got a raptor. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Diné and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been on. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away to Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle, look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. I was riding through town last week, dragging a helpless farmer by a goddamn rope. Every time. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella, mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please.
friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Think you two could stand me? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I Thank don't much you, like Arthur. Being safe when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Shit, no! Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Damn, this horse is slow. I didn't mean nothing by it. Oh. Yeah. 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 Please do something. Please, I can't get up. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up, please. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I'm gonna help this bitch. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. I no, never not, saw no, no, you. No, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Oh. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. 
Yes, I have coughs. Did he have coughs? Ah, figured it. I figured. Well, what did you expect was going to happen? What if I don't wanna? I'm literally hunting with only a pistol right now. I gotta get money and shit. Shut up! Shut up! I'm hunting birds, okay? Don't judge. I just got this on Xbox, so it's like, I'm just now starting the campaign. I had it on PS4. That's a fucking albino deer, bro. It's an albino deer. That's 
school girl. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on, you fucking horse. Damn horse, get over here when I call you. I am literally hunting this deer with pistol and fell. Because with Cold War, you can uh, choose to install like the campaign and stuff. Damn it! Don't question my shit. You listen. You listen. I'll beat you. Child support. Jer. Jaden, you're the only bitch that would do that shit. Shut up. Well, yeah. Fucking, but it's me. Of course I'm gonna beat you. You done wrong. No, it's not. Killed a deer. Pretty good hunt there, boy. Damn, I just watched this bird fall out the sky. He bounced four feet after he hit the ground.
I'm in love with a stripper. She riding and she rolling. She riding. Without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Good, we really needed this. Go. Very good, we were getting low. Thank you, miss. Thank you kindly. Don't mind Make Karen. Sure She's lovely, for. really. Many thanks, Many thanks Mr. Morgan. I'm sure she is. Hi there. Hi there. Do you like violence? Do you want to see me sick nine inch nails through each one of my eyelids? Hey, what you want? <laughs> one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Get the hell out the way, move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, move. Hey, Arthur. Mm Delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Okay? How's sure. you? Sure. 
I'm so glad. What did you do? Hey, Arthur. Hey, get that All horse right, out simmer of here. Down. Those clothes don't seem the appropriate attire for this cold weather. Jose? You want to go hunting? <laughs> what are you hunting? An <laughs> elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big... Loudmouth bastard tried to rob me, was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> Uh, I miss those boys. Hey. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet. Um. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. Yeah. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> He unplugged it. He unplugged it. <laughs> Nonsense. He unplugged it. Just need some money to get back on our feet. He unplugged his Xbox. You a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. He unplugged it. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. Nikki unplugged your Xbox. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Wow. Hey, he's all right. <laughs> Stables are just up ahead. All right. Welcome back. Go sell that big fruit. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. 
Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what Who I Who was pay. it? But your luck's in. I got a fella Damn. who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. You better, you better check price. the pants. You might Otherwise, shit I yourself. can always stable them here for you. Yeah, take a look. Uh, it's gonna have to wait. So I'm playing. What you call it? I'm on Red Dead. Beat him up. Beat him up. Yes. Partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Are you going to mount that new horse of yours or not? Hop on up there, let's go. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. 
up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing, mister. So, Hi, how River. are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, I'll say. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Oh, what the hell? Okay. I think we need to head right up here. What the hell? Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. So what do you think about Shaw? You reckon he's all right? Who knows? I sure hope so. But it's been a while now. Somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater? Yeah. I just don't know if he was picked up or picked off. Or got away. If there's one thing Sean McGuire's good at, it's wriggling out of things. Yeah. Yes, we don't know nothing till we know. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before. You know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun. Yow. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> you 
You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. It looks like a donut. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And... If he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Back up, Arthur, and let's get out. Wee. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far. Good. You know, I've been in this area with Bessie years ago. He's a bum? Really? What? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's... You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why, you thinking of... Not getting out? Me? No. Of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks. Dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on. If there's anything else.
Something else on the ground, just here. There she here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Huh? Let's just take a look at that thing. Sure. Oh, you only damn. Just said it, Jose. I know. Jaden, your mic. Right. Your knife. Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my yes. life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I don't... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Let's see what we got. Don't seem close.
Hey now. I didn't do it. He said he's good for now. He's like, I'm good for now. I'm gonna add these buttons. What the heck?
Wow. Nice choice of words. Yeah. Calm down, zebra face. Damn, I'm hunting on my way back to camp. I don't wanna jinx you and me a soda. That's not how that works. If you say it at the time, at the same time, you gotta say you and me a soda. Jinx you and me a soda. I don't think I can carry any more fucking chicks, pelts. Wait, it's that camp? Listen here. Yeah, you do. No, you do. You far face. Ow. I just hit a tree. Go smack him. Hey, Ro. Yep. Hey, bitchy Roadrunner.
Tar River. from me. Your stench precedes you. Stay away from me. Yes. Where are you? So hey, can you melt like iron pickaxes and shit? I sense bad energy returning. Stay away. Nick. So, can you, like, melt uh, iron pickaxes? Well, yeah. Just smack him once, so die. He's at half a, uh, half a heart. Did he kill you? Whoa, whoa, steady there. I'll scare away my dinner. Chose a fair spot. Okay, boy. Let's go. 
Wow. Imagine, imagine if he just heard you. I'm more than happy to craft you right, something you if you bring me the right materials. Oh, damn. You want a bottle of champagne? What's she doing, River? Thanks, Pearson. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. <laughs> Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. I want to this is going in the pot. In oil, blow my world traveling and roaming around. I spy the fair Thank you. maiden so lovely. And gently to her eye did say, she pulled up her garment, so scared it with soil. I out with old Phoenix when Can't wait to taste this. Oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. The oil Many thanks. my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass and looked up. Not the best smile. quality, I'm Set afraid. Bear down on your auger, for you know you struck oil. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery went to fire in some way. All right. Let me see. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Not even close. My name ain't Jaden. Hey Jaden, let's play some Madden. So I can uh, spank you 142 again. Excuse me. This isn't exactly an enchanted forest, this place, is it? No. I wonder what I call it Valentine. I'm a perverse. Nikki, find Madden. Get Madden. <laughs> 